My name is Adrian, and I'm the Executive Director at Hopeline Pregnancy Center, the largest pregnancy center ministry in the state of Connecticut. And I'm really eager for you to hear Jessica's story today, a story of how the Lord preserved her life and her child's life. I'm Jessica, and I'm currently a board member for Hopeline uh, Pregnancy Resource Centers. My mother used to volunteer there for on her days off, and my mother would make me go to Hopeline with her on those days and sort through baby clothes. <laughs> but that's how I actually got to know Hopeline. My next experience with Hopeline was me going there as a client. I struggled for many, many years of my life, in my high school and college years with depression, anxiety. I turned to alcohol and drugs. I was in and out of rehab, hospitals. I was pretty much homeless. I was kind of staying with friends and didn't have a job. And I found out I was pregnant. That was a big shock. And I just figured I was gonna have an abortion, although I didn't know how I was gonna do that. I didn't have any money. And so I was kind of just in this state of, of flo like floating, almost like, I don't know what to do. That's when I remembered Hopeline. But my experience there was so much different than I thought it was going to be. It was like walking into an oasis of peace. They were able to get me in, they got me an ultrasound like I had wanted. The staff took me into a room. I remember the doctor coming in, talking to me about the, my options. And then we started praying. They asked if they could pray with me and I said yes. And I still remember this like it was yesterday. It's the only time in my life that I feel like I got like an audible message from God saying to me, just like, Jessica, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna get you out of this, but you have to rely on me. You have to listen to me. And I was just overcome with the Holy Spirit. And I knew like, this was the moment I could either follow God and listen to him, or this was gonna be the end of my life. I was gonna end up dead somewhere. And there was no doubt, it was clear. And it was up to me to make my choice, but I felt so good about it. I felt so good about following God. But I think it was the environment. They were just so willing to help in any circumstance. There was no judgment. Regardless of what I chose, they were gonna be there. And that to me was so encouraging and so different than I had ever imagined it being. With Hopeline by my side, I continued going there. I went weekly and had counseling sessions and prayer sessions. They had a mom's group that I went to to get prepared. They did a breastfeeding class, like all those things that you just don't know as a new mom. And I was growing as a woman, as a person, and also as a child of God. I ended up having my baby, a beautiful little boy, who has really, I mean, I always say, like, he's the love of my life. He changed my life. I never knew that a little baby could do something so amazing in someone's life. It's just that he saved my life. And the one main thing that sets Hopeline apart is that they welcome anybody with open arms and just love on them. A lot of women come to Hopeline or, or come to Hopeline already having in mind that they're going to terminate their pregnancies because they don't know that they have any support. A huge thing of this ministry is letting people know that there actually is a choice and there are people that are there for them. And I think a lot of people doubt that because of the way the world is. And it's important to remember that Hopeline is a ministry of God and not of the world. And so they are different and they are there and they are there for everybody, no matter what.